It's Tuesday morning, uh, October 18th, 2011, and I have just returned from the 11th Street Shrimp Docks where I was gathering these little grass shrimp uh, for our flounder to feed upon. And whilst there, this guy I came across. Uh, you'll recall a couple of weeks ago when I had the group from North Carolina at, down at the same location and I pulled up that two inch line and we got this little guy here and <clears throat> well he's about to move today as a matter of fact he's moving in with the um, young spade fish here and they will be moving into this tank that's been set up for them in the gallery, our main display room. In the meantime, I thought it would be interesting to bring this creature in for observation. First thing we're going to do is check to see whether it is a male or a female. And it is rather difficult to see because of ouch, the amount of algae. Stop that. But this is a female. The plate on the bottom reaches her abdominal plate reaches all the way across from leg joint to leg joints so we do have a female here and we put her back down before I put her into a holding tank this is just a temporary display container for the purpose of this video You will recall that another common name for the spider crab is the decorator crab and this lady is quite decorated. You will observe, let me point out here, we have some branching bryozoan. Let me see if I can find some right there. That's branching bryozoan and we have a number of other own species growing on her that looks something like sponge. You can see the little tiny, whoop, sorry about that, little tiny branching bryozoans on her legs there and the sponge like. And I think this actually is a sponge coming up on the top there and let me see and I see just a little bit of red beard sponge right there you see the orange let me see if I can turn her without too much disruption because she has a rather large colony of red beard sponge well, let me do this on the other side you can see there the orange mass that is red beard sponge growing on her now I don't know whether I'll be keeping this animal or not um, I've got to figure out which of the tanks in the main display room can accommodate her or the other animals in the tank can accommodate her without there being problems and if I can do that, then we'll keep her. If not, she will be released. It's a little too early to tell. But I thought it would be neat to bring her in uh, for you to have a look at. Uh, well decorated, decorated crab. A brief postscript here. Something I didn't see until I was viewing the uh, video after I downloaded it. I want you to observe the movement on the leg. You see those little tiny things moving? I don't know if I can enlarge this anymore without distortion. We'll try. Nope. That's as close as we're going to get. Those are little skeleton shrimp. Appears to be at least one, perhaps two. Yep, two. Those are skeleton shrimp, friends. They used to be here by the billions years ago. 
when during the drought of a few years ago with the extra high salinity uh, they were all over the place I rarely see them now and I almost didn't see these guys um, you can google them they're quite interesting they're called skeleton shrimp and I completely missed them the first time around thought I'd bring it back interesting and here you can see them with without the extra light on them see how they wave back and forth elegant little creatures at the bottom of their body they have hooks instead of feet they have hooks that hook on and they move something like inchworms when they're moving across the surface interesting little critters critters <laughs>